So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and test it out. Load is essentially a shorthand way of an Ajax call to load some content uh, into a particular div, which is content area. So now when we refresh and click home, you can see that home, the contents of our home page here is loaded into this div. Same with portfolio and the same with contact. So now, um, as easy as it is, we just go ahead and copy this link, paste that, and we could say, um, let's just say, I don't know, uh, other.php, uh, the only thing I could think of, and then other. We can go ahead and create an other page. We could save that out in pages, other.php. And now we've instantly created uh, the same functionality. So we've got this other link. When we click it, we load the content in. So that's how easy it is to go ahead and duplicate the link uh, and actually uh, you know, load in different pages. So now it's going to save you time because we've thought about it carefully and we've taken the attribute from the link. So no need for JavaScript on this front page. So now that we've done this, we want to create some effects. If I was to say dot .fade um, in um, and we'll set a speed to normal uh, this isn't actually going to work very well um, or it won't work at all and the reason for this is the div is automatically shown already we don't have this div here set to hidden so we're never going to be able to fade in content that is already shown so just before the load we want to go and hide now what this will do is let's just say we were to click on home or portfolio we're on at the moment when we go ahead and click when we go ahead and click on home this content area div here will be hidden then the content will be loaded in and then it will fade in so it's essential that we get these uh, bound functions in the correct order uh, enabled to actually get the effect we're looking for so now that we've hidden the page prior to loading the content and then fading in uh, we'll now get that nice fade effect that you saw at the start of the tutorial when I demonstrated it and the links all work properly as well now let's just say we were to uh, for example load this content um, after this fade now I've already spoken about the importance of the order you might think yeah I can uh, hide this uh, fade it in uh, whilst loading the content but in actual fact now what's going to happen is when we click on say portfolio uh, oh it does actually work all right oh maybe I'm wrong then uh, I'm sure yeah okay so it's still working all right but I mean with regards to the hide here uh, that's extremely important as well so um, let's just go change that back around I mean logically this is the order that we want to adhere to because we want to hide it load the content before it's faded in uh, and then obviously that will fade in so we've uh, essentially created the most basic um, functionality to uh, a menu uh, with content that we can that we can load in dynamically now we have got one problem when we actually open this page up there's no default page that we have so we want to go ahead and create a default page for this so what I'm going to do is just up here I'm going to go ahead and say document so we're using the document selector now when the document is ready when the event uh, is ready we're going to create another function much like we did for this click event handler here I'm going to pull that down and now here just here what I want to do is go ahead and load the uh, first page uh, in the menu or the first link in the menu now you can obviously choose to for example only uh, show content when the page is loaded uh, at the moment there's no content loaded um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a particular selector that chooses the first link within this menu top class so we can go ahead and uh, say content area dot load uh, we don't really need to use effects here there's no real need to use effects when we actually load the page in uh, it's nice to then have the effects once the user is into the website and they've seen your content initially uh, but what we want to do is go ahead and load a particular page so we want to go ahead and load um, a particular uh, selector which is going to be menu top and this is going to be first we're loading the first element found with the class menu top. So now that we can do that, we can say dot attribute href, and that will take this value here, which will be 
the first elements um, href uh, attribute and then it will load it into this content area so let's go ahead and check that out when we come into the page you can see that the first um, link has been loaded now if we were to for example change this to last you can probably guess already this is the last element therefore when we refresh it will load the last element so you can see that using selectors we can actually load in just the first uh, page or the first menu item that we have so that is a quick uh, demonstration of how we can fade in content and create a nice little menu system uh, with dynamically loading in content uh, using the load function in jQuery which is essentially just a quick version of an Ajax call uh, to load the page contents into a div. So it's extremely easy to implement and like I've already demonstrated you can copy and paste these links choose a new href as long as it belongs to menu class uh, or the class menu top uh, it will add to your existing content.